Hello guys and welcome to another uh, Bash scripting tutorial. Today we are going to uh, learn how to monitor this uh, space in Linux. For example, one of the most important things that a uh, system administrator or a computer tech uh, needs to do is to monitor this space. And for that we are going to uh, see two commands in uh, Linux Bash. The first one is the df command the df command is useful for uh, displaying uh, this space information on a on every file system available on your computer. For example, the device SDA one it's mounted as root and a sixty eight percent usage, and this is the available space. This is the use space, and this is the total space of the hard drive. Uh, but this information is a little bit uh, difficult to read because the information is displayed in uh, in bytes. If you want uh, information presented in a better uh, readable format, you use df with minus minus h option for human readable, and now the uh, information is displayed in, uh, in this case in, in gigs. Uh, if you if you would like to display um, a specific file system you use df with minus t option and then provide the uh, file system for example I'm interested in to display only extension 4 type file system press enter and then the information of that uh, of all the extension 4 file system is displayed the second command when monitoring this space is the du command Unlike, uh, unlike df, the eu command uh, is to monitor disk space at the file and directory level. For example, to monitor the disk space of the test directory, I type du by itself and it will give me a list of all uh, subdirectories. And then at the end, it will give me the total size of the test directory. Again, you can use the minus H option, and it'll give it to you in, in the size. It'll give it to you in a readable format. And the total size of the test directory is 73 max. So, what if you wanted to see only the total size of the, of the directory? For example, if I wanted to see the total size of the test directory, I would type du minus s to summarize followed by the human readable option and it'll give me the total size for that directory. Um, another useful um, option of the du command is for example when you have a directory that contains uh, many many uh, subdirectories and files and uh, you would like to um, narrow it down uh, to see which uh, directories or files are uh, using the most space within that directory or which ones are the smallest files you can use the uh, du command followed by the s and then h human readable and then asterisk and uh, you can pipe it into the sort command with the minus n for numeric and it will list all the files and directories it will do the sorting on the size of the directories and files um, but this doesn't always work as, as expected for example I'm going to cd into my home directory if I do a uh, du minus s and h by the way the asterisk is the wildcard for, uh, meaning everything and then I do a sort minus n for numeric uh, I'm going to see a bunch of output on the screen so I don't I don't want to see it all I just, I'm just gonna uh, narrow it down to one screen output. I'm going to use the ls command. So as you can see, I'm, I'm the output is supposed to be sorted based on the size of the files and directory, and that is not the case. If you if you take a look at this output, the first file being uh, displayed on the screen is 1.1 gig uh, size, and then the next one is 1.1 meg. So obviously the batch kind of gets confused on the mathematics of this output and that 1.1 gig is definitely not smaller than one, the 4.0 uh, 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 kilobytes 
and in turn this file over here is not small it, it is smaller than 1.1 gig uh 1.1 meg so you see uh what i'm getting at you can all you cannot always uh uh, trust the output of the of the command. So when using the du minus sh option, you definitely are getting the wrong output. So the question is, how can we correctly sort the output based on size, or based on the size of the files and directory? Uh, for that, the um, the du command has a useful option. And by the way, when you um, don't know a specific um, option the best help that you can get for every command is the help command it will display the uh, the help uh, and the description of every option av available for that command but for example if I wanted to correctly uh, sort the output of the of the directory uh, based on the size I'm going to use the uh, minus M I'm going to use S for statistics and minus an M option for displaying the size of the files and directory in megabytes. I'm going to use the asterisk for wildcard and then I'm going to sort it uh, using numeric um, numeric sort. And then I only want to see one a page of output. Press enter and as you can see now the sort um, based on size looks better. If I continue to press a space bar, you can clearly see the the increasing order of the size. Remember that the size is being displayed in megabytes. Okay, so if I wanted to see the two biggest files and directories in and in, inside of the my current directory, I'm going to use the same options, but instead of sort uh, in increasing order, which is the default. With the, with the sort command, I'm going to use also the minus R option, which stands for reverse. And then I'm going to um, pipe that into a head command. And since I'm only interested in the first, uh, the first two or three uh, files or lines, I'm going to use minus three just to be actually minus two. And that th these are the biggest two directories and files inside my currently the directory. Uh, okay, this was a, a short tutorial and uh, again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.